Victoria's latest coronavirus cases have been revealed and include a number of young children. Let's go live to Melbourne. Pat Murrell joins us. Pat, the health minister says it's no cause for alarm, though. That's right. It's a very low number of cases and at this stage they don't appear to be connected. So far in Victoria, 917 people have tested positive for coronavirus. That's up 96 uh, from yesterday. 32 of these are community infections. That's up six from yesterday. Interestingly, for the first time, we've seen a number of very young children test positive for coronavirus. Three babies aged under one and uh, one one-year-old test positive for coronavirus. Now, the good news is, according to the chief health officer, all these babies are doing well. They're not uh, expected to get any worse. They are showing very mild symptoms, and it is very rare that COVID-19 does show any severe symptoms in young children. It doesn't appear as though they're connected. It doesn't appear to be a cluster case where they've all picked it up at the same childcare centre. And uh, the Victorian health minister says that because of this, uh, it isn't time to start shutting down childcare centres like we've seen with schools. That AHPPC hasn't advised the closure of childcare centres. Uh, in part, that's around the data that is reassuring that overwhelmingly for children, especially those nine years and younger, um, the illness of COVID-19 is very, very mild uh, and, and deaths are virtually unheard of. So um, that should be a reassurance to any parent of young children. Um, clusters uh, haven't been reported in Australia. We're still looking into this, but it doesn't appear to be a cluster. Now, Kieran, all international arrivals to Australia uh, are being quarantined to hotels for two weeks and testing of those individuals is continuing if they do show any symptoms. Here in Victoria, only one person who's been refined to hotel quarantine has tested positive to COVID-19 so far, but the Chief Health Officer expects this number to rise steeply because it is a demographic which is much more likely to have the virus. There's only one uh, case that's emerged um, thus far. Um, I would expect some more. We know it's a high risk population, um, but each and every one of them are, are isolated from the rest. Um, and so that you know, really is the importance of those quarantine arrangements that for anyone who develops symptoms that we can do the testing, we can keep them isolated. Now, worryingly, we've also heard that another six healthcare workers have tested positive for COVID-19, this time at an Eastern Health Hospital. Uh, it's not yet known exactly what their professions were or what part of the hospital they were in, only that that ward has been cleaned and it is operating as usual. On the subject of hospitals, Victoria is pushing for a stricter use of PPE to conserve the amount of masks and gloves just in case this is a prolonged uh, pandemic. It is uh, pushing for a maximum of of two masks per day per healthcare worker. And it's also understood that some hospitals here in Melbourne are looking at increasing the uh, number of hours worked per shift as well to uh, preserve PPE at those hospitals.